If you've always been intrigued about how a LinkedIn newsletter can help you get clients, that's exactly what we're gonna be talking about today as we explore how to use LinkedIn newsletters to get clients from LinkedIn in 2023. For those of you who don't know me, it's Chris Prouty. And for the last 21 years, I have helped thousands of entrepreneurs and experts wildly grow their businesses by teaching them the strategies for attracting clients online and through social media. And if you're new to my channel, now would be a genius time to click the subscribe button and turn on the bell for notifications so that you get alerts every time I create a new video about growing your business. What's fascinating to me about LinkedIn newsletters is how few people use them. But the benefits are huge. In a LinkedIn newsletter, you're going to create high value content in the form of a LinkedIn article. But the difference between an article and a newsletter is your audience decides they want to hear from you and they want to be notified when you create these articles as newsletters. All right, so the very first thing that we're gonna do right now is just hop into LinkedIn. You can see my main LinkedIn page. We do need to make sure that you can send newsletters and we're gonna do that by first visiting my profile and when I go here in my profile, I'm gonna go down to resources here and I'm gonna make sure creator mode is turned on. Creator mode allows you to do a whole bunch of really cool things on LinkedIn, including, as you can see down here, uh, you can do LinkedIn Live, but you can also do newsletters. So we're gonna turn on creator mode down there in resources, click done when we're done, and that's going to allow us to create newsletters. Now, creating a newsletter is actually very straightforward. You go here to write article, and when you go to write article for the very first time, you're gonna be given the option to turn it into a newsletter. Now, the first thing we wanna do is upload a cover image that's 1280 by 720. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm going over here into another program. This is called Pixlr. This is a, uh, I'm paying for Pixlr. I have a paid account, you can see here, but you can also get a free account with them and you can do exactly this. So I'm gonna go create new. And then I gotta remember it's 1280 by 720. So I'm gonna create a new document that is 1280 by 720. And then down lower right, I'm gonna click create right there. Excellent, so there it is. So this is what I'm gonna be creating my, my, uh, my newsletter banner with. Now, I already have an image picked out. My recommendation to you, don't go crazy trying to pick out images, just select one. I kind of just close my eyes and point at one and I moved it here into this folder so that I can just drag it and open it. I'm gonna do that as a um, add to current. Oh, that's way too big. So just zoom out a little bit and I'm gonna grab these handles and shrink it down so that it fits to size. There we go. So now I just zoom back in a little bit. And so I've got my picture in the background but <laughs> just having a little bit of a hard time getting this thing to where I want it. And so now I wanna add some text. So when I add text to this, I'm really I'm trying not to overthink this. I encourage you to do the same thing. Grab my text tool, add it as a text layer. There it is. Let's just, I'm just gonna adjust my font. This is the typical font that I use right here. Just Helvetica New. And I'm gonna use the condensed version. Excellent. I know you can't see it against, against the background. We're gonna, I'm take care of that, don't worry. Now I'm gonna type in the headline. So how to get clients from LinkedIn. Should be just fine. Let's put it in 2023 in there. I'm gonna adjust everything later. I just wanted to get the text in. I know, don't worry. I know you can't see it. We're gonna take care of that. Don't worry, don't worry. Next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna add a background to the text. So I grabbed the, rec uh, the rectangle tool. I'm just gonna add a new empty layer over here on the right, and I'm just gonna make the rectangle. I'll resize it later to get it to the exact right size. So that created a black shape, but it put it on top of the text. So I'm gonna drag that below the text over here. And then I'm gonna right click and change the opacity, bring it down to about 50%, somewhere around there. I'm not gonna, well, yeah, okay, 50 sounds good. So now I have a semi-transparent background. Now I'm gonna change the color of my text. I like yellow. I think it stands out, that's why I choose it. And why don't we make this font a little bit bigger? So I'm gonna select, a, yeah, I just did a little carriage return and then I'm gonna select the font. Let's see, 
Let's, let's scale that up just a little bit. Font size. I'm in the text tool as I do this. I'm not trying to win a graphic design award here. And now I'm going to go here into format. I'm going to reduce the line space. It just feels like a little too much space between those lines. There we go. That looks better. And now I've got to adjust that background square or that background rectangle. So let's go ahead and let's see how I do that. No, no. Yes, here. Oh, you know what? I'm going to grab the pointer tool and then I'm going to select the layer. That did it. Glad I remembered. And now I'll just go down here, make this a little bit bigger. I'm not worried that it goes off the edge of the page. I just want it to look okay. This is like a whole bonus tutorial for you on how to, uh, how to use Pixlr to create this stuff. Okay, turning it on and off. I want to see if I like it. I'm going to leave it on. And let's go ahead and save this. Just making sure everything looks good here, get everything nice and centered. Okay, I've spent more time on this than I actually needed to, but this is going to be the banner for the, for the newsletter. All right, some final adjustments. Now I'm just going to Command S or just go to File and Save. So I saved it onto my computer and then I quickly, very quickly dra dragged it over here. I did that off the screen that's being shared because just for privacy reasons, I don't want you to see any client stuff that might be on my computer in my folders. All right, so now, you know, uh, I've got the same exact title at the top. I put the same exact title at the top. I just pasted it in, but I'm gonna grab a different one. So this one here is gonna work better. Now this kind of evades, I, I really should uh, have a shorter title, but I like this one, so I'm gonna leave it there. And so now I've got my title. I've got my banner, and so let's start adding some content here. And so I just pasted in some content that I had in my clipboard. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using this newsletter to send people to three different YouTube videos. So I'm going to change the title. This is the title of the video. You can see it right here. And then I've got, that's the title of, that title up there was H1. I made this one in H2. Uh, I don't know, should I accept this? No, I'm gonna leave it as is. So I made my title a heading level two and then I've got my content here. Now what I wanna do is add an image that is the thumbnail for the video. So click, click, scroll, upload from the computer, which I'm just gonna grab. I don't think you can see me grabbing it, but I'm going to grab it and drag it right over there. This is the thumbnail from the YouTube video. Okay, so I'm sending people to this YouTube video. Now, I want to turn this picture into a link. So I'm going to go off screen and just grab the link to the video and paste it right in here. So now when someone clicks on that image, it's going to, it's going to send them to the, uh, to the video. But just in case, I'm also going to give them a direct link. So I'll type this right here, direct link to the training, put the link right there, ready to go. So now uh, right down here, add a caption for this image. This is good for optimizing the, uh, for optimizing the image. So I'm just going to use the title of this section, how to get clients from a LinkedIn profile. I'm just going to use that title as the alt text for this, uh, for the description of this image. I think, I think that will do something for me. I think A is a little weird, so I'm gonna change it to your. How to get clients from your LinkedIn profile sounds a whole lot better. So that's my first article in my newsletter. Now I'm gonna add two more. Everything else looks good. So now what we want to do is we just want to add text below this one. I'm going to follow the same process right down here. So let's, I'm just going to go grab some text, copy and paste it in. So this was already written somewhere else. I'm going to change this to a heading two. So drop down this normal, make it heading two. Let's get rid of some of this space. Like that, and then you see I already have the link in here for this video, which is the next video that I'm sending them to. I'm going to copy that link 
whoops, not what I wanted to do. Let's copy this link so that I can use it as the link for the image as well. So let's click here, select image, and now I can get the thumbnail for this second video, which is the truth about LinkedIn profile keywords. So I'm just gonna drag this right here. There we go. And then I'm gonna click here top right, the chain, the chain link, which allows me to put the link in for the YouTube video. So now they can click on the image to go to the YouTube video. And I have my second article in. And now let's put in the third article. And I'm just following the same exact process. Change this to a heading two. There we go. Get rid of some space. There's my link. I'm gonna copy that link. And now I'm gonna pop in the image for this third video, which is the video on content marketing on LinkedIn. So I'm just gonna drag the thumbnail in. I already had the thumbnail, but you could use just a regular image. I just happen to have these already created. And I'm realizing, let's see, I can copy this and put it right in there for the link, great. I don't think I put the caption for, yeah, I didn't put the caption up here. So let's go grab the title for this section here, copy right down here, add caption for that image here, paste, and then do the same thing down here. So grab this, copy right down here, paste, that's fine. So now I've got three articles in this newsletter. I'm almost ready to go, but if you've ever heard me talk about anything that you do, you should always have a call to action. I think a call to action is very important. So I'm gonna put a call to action for my free on-demand workshop, which you can get to by going to proudyclass.com. Proudy's my last name, class is what you get. So let's grab some copy from the, the uh, page that promotes that free workshop, which you should really go to, by the way, just go visit proudyclass.com. I gotta really clean this up. The, you see I pasted it over and it brought some formatting. So let's just go ahead and take care of these bullets here. I'm sure there's a nice clean way for me to do this. I'm gonna get rid of the regular bullets first, or the bullets that came over, just by backspacing over them. And now I think I can just turn this bullet section on. Let's see what happens. That only gave me the last one. So let's go up here to the top and turn on the bulleted section here. And now I want to, let's see, how do I do this? No, that didn't do it. Let's see, maybe if I do this, that didn't do it. How about here, good. And now here, backspace, backspace, eh, enter, got it. Good, great. And let's get this one and then one more. Everything's looking good here. All right, I'm liking this. Making sure this is a heading level two right now. Yeah, let's make it normal. What's going on with this? Oh, look, it's all caps. I'm gonna, here's another bonus tip for you. I'm gonna grab this copy and we are gonna go over to Case Converter. Paste it in. This is a, a website called Case Converter and you can see I just changed it to capital case. That is so much faster than retyping it. And bring it back over here, paste. Now select it. Good, good, good. And now I'll grab this copy here as well. So I'm promoting the free workshop here in the newsletter as well. I might as well promote the free workshop and you should do the same, promote an offer that you have. And by the way, if you're serious about growing your business, head over to proudyclass.com and check out that free workshop that you're seeing here. Just a little bit more formatting as we're, chat as we're chit chatting. And now I want to add a, add a link. So free workshop, 
at http colon slash hashpratty class dot com and then let's turn that into an actual hyperlink so I'll just grab that copy it chick click that link no that didn't do it I didn't copy it let's copy it for real you see these th I mean these things happen you you've just got to realize that you just got to keep trying with this stuff to get it to work there we go, and that made it a link. So now people can go there and take that free workshop. And let's uh, take a second. Everything looks good here. I got everything I wanted to get. So when they click on that link, it's going to bring them here. That's exactly what I want. Everything looks good. I think I'm going to put this down at the bottom. Ooh, there's a space at the end. Let's get rid of that. I don't need that. There we go. That's nitpicky, but didn't want it there. So copy it, double enter, and put it down here at the bottom as well. And that way, somebody who scrolls right to the bottom is gonna see that. So here I am. I have got everything that I need right now to send this thing out. It's ready to go. Just give it one last look over from top to bottom. I like the way it looks quite a bit and it's sending people to three different videos. Now you don't have to send them to videos. You can send them to anything or you could just write content that doesn't send them anywhere. But this kind of shows you how to do everything. It shows you how to put in content, put in images, put in links, send people somewhere else. Everything looks good. So at this point, I'm ready to go. I can simply click publish. And this is going to send it out. Let me see. You know, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to make some of this text bold so it stands out. This will, this will literally just take a second, but it will make it a little more, it'll make it less monotonous and make it a little more eye-catching. So let's just do that really, really quick. Right here, I'll do this one. Good. This one. I'm just bolding stuff that I want them to see. Yeah, and that really will wrap it up. There we go. <laughs> I'm just gonna reword this. Some of this stuff I'm just gonna reword. Let's just, I think it's a little unnecessarily complex. Too many words. So let's get rid of some of these words. And I'd like that to be on one line. So I can get rid of this. I can actually I can get rid of, I can probably get rid of social media. You just make it how to use LinkedIn and Facebook. I'm kind of just, re, you know, just making sure that I get all of this the way I want it. And now that I have it better, I like that text better, all I have to do is click publish. And while everything I just taught you is incredibly important, it might not be the only thing that you need right now, which is why I'm gonna put a link to another video right here for you to check out. That's gonna give you even more information about growing your business. And if you click on my face, you can subscribe to my channel and get alerts every time I create content like this.